Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me here today. In this quick video, I'm sharing three different cards using the new Honey Bee Stamp and Die Set Spring Peony. I've done a little prep work to move things along by creating a few card sketches for inspiration and swatching my watercolors. I'm using Avery L liquid watercolors in the colors lemongrass, celery, cherry, and mimosa. I want to tell you that I'm a beginner in learning with watercolors and that I still believe you can create beautiful watercolor washes without being a pro. Right now I'm staying with colors that play well together to avoid mud. <laughs> Once I learn the do's and the don'ts of watercolors, then I'll expand my palette. But for now, I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to be using Princeton Velvet Touch brushes number two and number four. And you can pick these up online or in big box stores. I do believe I purchased mine at Hobby Lobby. I'm also using Versafine Onyx Black ink to stamp the images. Now I'm using a stamping tool because I'm doing a lot of repeat stamping. You don't have to have a stamping tool, it just makes things easier. I'm also going to use this paint palette or watercolor palette just so I can work directly from that. I've already laid down some Canson watercolor paper in my stamping tool. I arranged my stamps and I'm going to ink them up and start stamping them. Now I'm making three cards so I wanted to go ahead and do all of my stamping at once and so you're going to see me do a lot of repeat stamping here and as we all know with watercolor paper it's a rough texture so it takes several repeats to get that nice solid image stamped. So you're going to see me laying down some watercolor here like I said, there's no special technique. This is just me putting some color to paper and I'm just doing whatever I want to with this. Um, I did have a lot of fun with it and it was very relaxing. So our first card is a Mother's Day Shaker card. And to create the card, I went ahead and cut a piece of Nina cardstock to five by five and ran it through my die cut machine with a circle die in the center to create that window. And I also ran it through a basket weave embossing folder. Now you just saw me doubling up my mounting foam there. That's going to go on the clear acetate that's already attached to that uh, five by five card panel. And I want to let you know that I did use Sukwang tape to adhere that clear acetate. And it's Hero Arts Clear Acetate. If you haven't tried that acetate, I absolutely love it. So I went ahead and cut down my mounting foam to size. And now I'm placing it on the card panel. And you want to be sure when you're doing this, you have no gaps in between the foam because you're building a dam to hold those sequins in. I also like to add corner pieces so that it keeps the sequins from falling down where they can't be seen. I die cut three layers of 80 pound Nina cardstock using the Simon Says Bold Mom die. I'm using a quick dry adhesive to layer those up. I like using at least three layers so that it gives the uh, sentiment some dimension. Once I have these layered up, I'm going to set them to the side and then we're going to move on to adding our sequins to our card. So a, a little tip I want to give you is that when you're getting ready to um, add your card panel over your sequins, use an anti-static tool around the edges of your mounting foam. It helps to get rid of any sticky adhesive that might be on the edges. Leave the backing on that um, mounting foam until you do that because if you take the mounting the backing off of the mounting foam and then use the anti-static tool, it's going to get rid of the adhesive that's going to hold your card together. So I laid down a generous amount of sequins. I'm going to center my window over the sequins and this is one of those that 
always makes me a little nervous because you only get one chance at this and I'm not that great at centering cards. <laughs> so here we go. Let's try it and see what happens. I'm going to center this up and then we're going to be ready to move on to actually putting the flowers and the die cut word on the front of our card. So there we go. And you see me, I'm pressing down pretty hard with that because I want to make sure that it the bond between the card base and the mounting foam is, is a nice strong bond. You don't want sequins to go flying everywhere. I've had it happen and it's not a pretty sight. Okay, so I'm going to use a T ruler just to make sure that I have that sentiment nice and straight. I'm also using the same quick dry liquid adhesive to add that. I'm going to use that same adhesive to add this uh, mom on top of the shadow. And I'm just using a coral colored cardstock that was in my stash to do this part of the word die. Once I have all of that in place, I'm going to start arranging my flowers and it takes a little bit of time um, just to figure out where I want everything to go. Once I do figure out where I want everything to go, I'm going to uh, use quick dry liquid adhesive for the bottom layers, which will be the leaves. And then I'm going to use mounting foam for the flowers to pop them up a little bit. So I'm going to add some sequins from Little Things from Lucy's Cards. This is the iridescent sequins, very pretty. I'm also um, adhering them using glossy accents. I wanted to note that I did add some splatters onto the front of the card. You can see them there, it looks like it's peppered. I used Distress Oxide ink and black soot and just smush that down on my craft mat there and add a little bit of water and then took the paintbrush and tapped it on the edge of my finger around the card. I did cover up the mom and most of the flowers while I was doing that so as not to get that black splatter on there. So our next card I'm absolutely loving. This is a thanks card. I used a background that I did weeks ago it's a honeycomb background that I created with a stencil. I'm also using Simon Says Big Thanks die. It's a shadow die and then the word die. I used 80 pound Nina cardstock for the shadow part and then Simon Says Black cardstock for the word. And I did three layers of the black cardstock and I used the quick dry liquid adhesive to put that together. Now I'm going to go ahead and start arranging the flowers and everything on the card front. I'm using the quick dry liquid adhesive again for the leaves and 3D mounting foam for the flowers. I also decided that I wanted to do a strip behind the thanks to help it stand out a little bit more and I was going to do vellum. And when I use vellum I use a clear double sided tape and I then decided I didn't like the vellum, so I ended up cutting a piece of Simon Says Fog with the Simon Says Sentiment Strips to go behind the thanks. And um, I just left that double-sided clear tape and then added two pieces of mounting foam to each end of that fog sentiment strip so that it would lay nice and flat across my card. So to finish this off, I'm adding some enamel dots and the enamel dots are from My Mind's Eye Gal Meets Glam collection. The third and final card is a super simple thinking of you card using the Honey Bees Stamps the Bees Knees 6x6 paper pad. I pick a thumb black and white pattern paper, adhere it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base with double sided adhesive. I use Simon Says Stamps Sentiment Strips die cut 80 pound Nina cardstock, stamp my message from the Simon Says Everyday Messages stamp set. I'm going to start arranging my flowers and seeing exactly where I want to place everything. I'm going to use 
3D mounting foam on the back of the sentiment and then I am going to place that on the card and arrange the flowers. I use the quick dry liquid adhesive and 3D mounting foam to adhere all of the pieces to the card. I'm going to add that one last flower right there and some gold enamel dots to wrap this up and we're done. So for more of my videos, please be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new videos. As always, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you'll come again. Until then, have a beautiful day and keep crafting.